the Navy began producing television news stories in 1979. At that time, a videotape containing nine news items was sent to American Forces Network and other media outlets so that it could be broadcast to sailors and Marines worldwide. Over time, these productions were increased from once a month to every week. In this final edition of Navy Marine Corps News, we bring you a few stories from the past 20 plus years that highlight naval television news reporting and marked our run as a news program, stories that can be easily identified with the decade in which they occurred. In 1983, the Marine barracks in Beirut, Lebanon was destroyed by a suicide bomber. 241 service members died in the explosion. In our next story, we go back to December 1983 and take a look at how the Navy reported this tragic event. Victims of the October 23rd bombing of the Marine headquarters in Beirut came home late last month. Seven Marines and one sailor wounded in the blast were the first to arrive at Andrews Air Force Base on October 28th. The men were taken to a base hospital for medical processing and reunions with family members. Later, several Marines fielded questions from the press on their experiences in Beirut and their feelings on being home. Did you want to go back? Well, if I had to go back, I would, yes. Welcome home, guys. Thank you. The C-141 bringing home the first of the 239 that died in the Beirut bombing touched down shortly before 4 the next morning. The 14 Marines and Hospital Corpsman Chief George W. Piercy were taken to a hangar at Dover Air Force Base, Delaware. In the early morning hours, the nation paid respect to those that died in Lebanon. General Paul Kelly, Commandant of the Marine Corps, who had just returned from Lebanon, and Admiral Watkins took part in the brief memorial ceremony. I salute you, dear brothers in uniform. Come home to our beloved United States and ask God to give solace and comfort to your families and friends in this hour of great pain and personal loss, we will not forget you. <laughs> 